Good day to you my esteemed viewers and thanks for tuning in to my channel. I hope you will find my video interesting and informative. Please remember to like and subscribe my YouTube channel by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. Thank you. Today I will be talking about Bales Estate which is one of the oil rich state in Nigeria. A brief history of Bales Estate. Bales Estate was created on October 1, 1996 out of the Old Rivers State by the then regime of General Sami Abacha. The name, Bailsa, is an acronym of three former local government areas namely Brass, Yenagoa and Sakbema in the then Rivers State, which had earlier on comprised the entire area now constituting Bales Estate. Located in the southern part of Nigeria, Bailsa covers 21,100 square kilometers with capital at Yenagoa. Bailsa State is geographically located within latitude 04 degree 15 north, 05 degree 23 south and longitude 05 degree 22 west and 06 degree 45 east. It shares boundaries with Delta State on the north, Rivers State on the east and the Atlantic Ocean on the west and south. Bales Estate is a tropical rainforest, with more than three quarters of this area covered by water, with a moderately low land stretching from Ikaroma to Nemb. The area lies almost entirely below sea level with a maze of meandering creeks and mangrove swamps. The network of several creeks and rivers in the south, all flow into the Atlantic Ocean via the major rivers such as San Bartholomew, Brass, Non, Ramos, Santa Barbara, St. Nicholas, Sangana, Fishtown, Ikebiri Creek, Middleton, Digatera Creek, Pennington and Dobo. The vegetation here is characterized by the mangrove forest. In the north, it has a thick forest with arable lands for cultivation of various food and cash crops. There are four main languages in Bales Estate, which are Isan, Nemp, Ogbia and Ipiatisa. The predominant religions in the state are Christianity and traditional worship, Bales Estate has 24 first-class traditional rulers, and many second- and third-class traditional rulers, recognized by the state government. Past and present leaders of Bales Estate. Upon creation of Bales Estate Nave Captain Philip Hare Annie was the first military administrator, he took up office on the 7th of October 1996 and left office on the 28th of February 1997. C.P. Habudora. Habudora was the second military administrator Bales Estate. He took up office from Philip Hare Annie on the 28th of February 1997 and left office on the 27th of June 1997. Omonyai Caleb Olubalade. Omonyai Caleb was the third military administrator to Bales Estate during the military rule. He took up office on the 27th of June 1997 from Habudora and left office on the 9th of July 1998. Paul Obi. Paul Obi was the fourth and last military administrator of Bales Estate. He took up office from Omonyai Caleb Olubalade on the 9th of July 1998 and left office on the 29th of May 1999. In 1999, Nigeria witnessed the birth of a democratic system of government which ushered in a new era of politically elected leaders. Dear Pry Alami Asaya. Dear Pry Alami Asayo was the first democratically elected governor of Bales Estate under the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He contested and won the mandate of the people and was elected into office on the 29th of May 1999 to serve as a governor for a term of four years. Later he was re-elected into office in 2002 to serve for another term of four years but was impeached before the completion of his second term and left office on the 9th of December 2005. Good luck, Jonathan. Good luck, Jonathan was the deputy governor to Deopry Alami Asaya. Upon impeachment of Deopry Alami Asaya, good luck, Jonathan was sworn in as the governor of Bales Estate under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on the 9th of December 2005 and left office on the 29th of May 2007. Timit the Silver. Timit the Silver contested, won and was elected governor of Bales Estate on the 29th of May 2007 under the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Later on the 16th of April 2008, the elections were nullified by the court and an acting governor was sworn in. 
Where in a Pasay Baru go? Where in a Pasay Baru go? Who was the Speaker of the Bales State House of Assembly at that time? Was sworn in as acting governor on the 16th of April 2008 upon the nullification of the elections that brought in Timothy Silva in May 2007. There he served as the acting governor and left office on the 27th of May 2008. Timothy Silva. Timothy Silva was re elected on the 27th of May 2008 under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to serve as a governor for a term of four years. His tenure was however terminated by the Supreme Court and he left office on the 27th of January 2012 while an acting governor was sworn in. Nesta Binabo. Nesta Binabo, the then Speaker of the Bales State House of Assembly was sworn in as the acting governor on the 27th of January 2012 upon the termination of Timothy Silva tenure and he left office on the 14th of February 2012. Henry Dixon. Henry Dixon contested under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and won the governorship elections and was elected governor of Bales State on the 14th of February 2012 to serve for a term of four years. In 2016 he contested and was re-elected to into office for his second term. He left office on the 14th of February 2020. Duo Derry. On the 14th of February 2020, Senator Duo Derry contested and run for the governorship elections under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, but lost to David Lyon of the Action People's Congress, APC. Then after he was affirmed governor-elect by the Supreme Court and currently he is the incumbent governor of Bales Estate. Please your comments and suggestions are welcomed. For this will help me serve you better and always remember to tune into this channel for more interesting topics. Also remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanking you for your time and see you soon.